Shiro24, and welcome back to Nova Skin Episode 2. Um, today I'm going to start with the Texture Pack Editor. Um, so if you guys saw the Skin Editor, this is going to be a continuation, but this is going to be more unique than the Skin Editor, and if you're just watching this with the Texture Pack Editor, I don't blame you because Skin Editors, everybody's pretty much used a Skin Editor before. So let's jump right into it. So you can't actually get to it by clicking on it here, which is funny. You have to start editing your skin now. That's how you get there. So click Start Editing Skin Now, and there's Jfish024 right there, right there in your face. And then you can go up here to Textures, and that's where you can start. So you can see I have two projects up here, Project 1 and the World of Jfish Hero, which I will soon be releasing um, to download on probably Planet Minecraft. Project One's gonna be a sports um, texture pack for my recent adventure mini game basketball survival. And so, how you create a project? You go here, new local pro project, and we'll do demo pack. Okay, and see it opens that. You can just go back, and there it is, right there. You can also open a zip file or import a folder or import from Minecraft and just put it in here. You can also sign in. Um, I don't sign in at all. I just do this. I guess if you sign in, if you weren't on your computer, you can access it somewhere else, maybe. Um, so, I guess today we'll start with the first thing right up here, and we'll just do, today will be a mobs episode. So, you can see the mobs here. The most of them, you can do the player. Ocelot, Ghast, Creeper, Cow, Enderman, Eyes, Magma Cube, Enderman slash Eyes, yeah, Dragon slash Eyes. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna pick the um let's see what's a good one to do. Let's just do the the symbol of Minecraft, the creeper. Everybody loves the creeper or hates it. I don't really know. So over here in this thing that just opened, you can animate it. Yeah, it's walking. You can on ground whatever that does. I don't really know what that does. You can make it look at the cursor, so it will follow you around, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, usually it will follow you around with its head, and it's not doing it right now. Um, the grid you can change, but I just leave it how it is. I don't really mess with the stuff. Background, I've showed you before, you can just pick a different background. So, pick one like this cave, or this nighttime scene. So that's a really cool background right there. The backgrounds are just so nice. Alright, so this is basically, let's accept this. Sad. Add muted. You can undo if you need it. That's something. So, down here, what you can see is you can deselect what parts are visible. So, look, it's all gone now. Head, body, leg one, leg two, leg three, leg four. So that makes it easier to edit it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Then you can change the pixels so it becomes even more high def, if you want to call it that, or less. Look at that. That is hilarious. That's a fail. 32 by 16, 64 by 32. I think I've permanently ruined it now. But yeah, now it just kind of looks like a blob. But that doesn't really matter. So down here is the same as on the other one, as the skin editor. You, how you pick your colors? Well, not really, because you can drag them around here, and you can select the random thing here, and you can change how long each one is. Let's try this. So it'd be like this. Oh yeah. So you can pick like different patterns and stuff and it's on random and you can pick your color over here and then drag it around you can also make transparent which is cool so not all mobs support transparent clearly the creeper does not because it's not making anything transparent but like the wolf I think is pretty sure supports transparent so you can do this just pick colors it's pretty basic um, then again there's the lion the ellip and the ellipsis they start with this color and end with this color as just the colors in between, so there's the line. Let's drag it, rectangle. You guys saw all this in the skin editor, probably. Just a gradient ellipsis or line or rectangle. That's pretty creepy looking creeper. <laughs> Very messed up creeper. And that is basically the uh, mob editor right there. So let's animate our creeper. Ta da. Yeah. Not the most boss creeper ever. Eraser. And the bucket draws from this color right here. This is the slide zoom. 
lighter, darker, I guess. Zoom out, and then zoom in, and then change the way it's facing, and then drag. So with this one, you click that, and you select it and drag, and then you have to click it again to stop it from dragging. And there, there you go. That is pretty much your creeper in a nutshell. That's pretty cool. All right. And what you can do up here is you can go back to the editor here, or you can select another one, or you can go up here to capture a screenshot, or you can save it, and you can give it a name, optional, and then you can pick the project you're going to save it in, so like demo pack, and then I'd save, and now it says select the texture to replace, and that's it. You can download the skin, which is kind of weird, I don't know why it says that, close. And then over here you can select the mob you want to go to now. So I can go over here to like slime. And now I'm editing the slime, probably. It loads. There you go, a little slime. Slimes are so annoying. And there you go guys, that is pretty much the mob editor in a tech in a nutshell. Pretty basic to use, but it's really nice to have it. Um I guess next time I'll be showing you um items and uh things items and things of the short sort. Um, so this probably wasn't a very long video, but it pretty much just captured how you can do a mob. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave those in the comments below. Or on yeah, just leave them in the comments below. There's not really anywhere else you could really tell me that. I guess you could go to my website and send me an email, but yeah, you can do that too. So whatever you want to do, comments I'll be notified of more um, sooner than you would be on my email. But anyway, guys, this is JFishHero24. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and like. Um, this is JFishHero24 signing out.